Girl, what did you do? Please tell me you weren't trying to kill yourself. I've had enough death to last me a minute. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. Then what the hell, Jim? You remember how bad it was when the girls got taken? You say you do, but you don't know. You're about to. <laughs> you have a baby and your heart's not in your own goddamn body anymore. It's just walking around in there. It's so... I felt like I, I couldn't breathe. I couldn't think. <laughs> Oh, why didn't you say something? Because everybody had their own shit going on, Des. You know? I just, I felt worse to talk about it. So, you felt like relapsing was better? Everything was falling apart. I could I couldn't even find Bryce. Where is he? I mean, I'm in a hospital room right now. Where, where, where is he? Wait, well, he was here. Well, he's not here now. Right. So that's a real pillar of strength, huh? I just needed someone to help me cope. Pause, wait. So, so you were the one skimming our shit. It was just right there. But, but you didn't say anything when me and Polly realized that the pills were missing. Well, I was going to. I, oh my God, I killed Georgia because I thought that she was stealing our pills. What the hell is wrong with you, Jen? I didn't know, and I felt terrible about it. Which is why I wanted to take the pills so I wouldn't feel that. How was I supposed to know that you were going to kill a bitch, huh? That's on me. I look around this room and I, I do not recognize the women I see in front of me. I don't know when. Making bank. Proving your shit don't stink. Winning some asinine war. Yeah, I'm talking to you too, Anne. When did that become more important than, than, than anything else? Okay, slow down. <laughs> oh my God. That's a, that's a laugh. You've been constantly telling me, in or out, in or out. When, when was I supposed to have time to make that choice for myself? You know what I do? No, I want it. I'm, I'm done with this shit. I'm out the game and I'm out of these broke ass friendships. You know what? Me too. Wait. Oh, no, I'm nuts. Virginia, come back. I mean, you realize that this is all y'all's fault, both of you. So get out. Did I stutter? Go! Ample apologies for my tardiness. It's been a series of unfortunate events in the last couple of days. <laughs> it's an embarrassment that you would allow this gold digging whore into the building, let alone the room, at such a sensitive, sensitive time. Particularly when I'm trapped on this godforsaken Antarctic cruise. Miss Von Reichler, as the legal spouse of your father, she is entitled to be present for the reading of his will. The American legal system is dreadfully unfair, isn't it? I couldn't have said it better myself, my darling stepdaughter. Imagine prioritizing a chosen wife over spoilt children, one of whom is clearly a bastard. You look nothing like Axel. What? Where do you get off telling me who I look like? Eric, shut up. Let's get to it. It seems the Baron has established trust in the names of all of his grandchildren to be accessed on their 25th birthdays. Oh, they will be so pleased. What else? He has donated his many properties internationally to various hospice organizations. Yes, yes. Finally, a section the Baron requested we read directly to his immediate family. Oh. I would like to bequeath the remainder of my fortune, not to my indelicate and entitled children, but to Polly Marks. Although I am fully aware that she is a grifter, no one has ever brought me such love and joy. What goddamn bullshit is this? Best Cordelia! So now this red-headed snake gets everything over my dead body. What the hell is that smirk for? Did you force him to change his will? Daddy! <laughs> Why? All this time, he knew. Why? <laughs> and he didn't even care. He loved me. He really loved me. 